All right, man. Welcome back to our channel, man. For me, power <laughs> couple, couple talk, all that couple stuff. Peace and blessings. Ashe. Ashe. All day. Saw the video, um, and it brought up the conversation, brought up the topic of toxic uh, relationships. So we just wanted to touch on that. I'll let the queen go first. Oh, yeah. I just, yeah. We saw this video, and it was. Um, basically well we people that we know <laughs> michael's friend <laughs> would basically caught this couple arguing in their apartment complex and um and it, i just you know at first it was funny but then i was just like this is not too that much funny it's negative and i'm like how can you know you be in such a toxic relationship because people like that they end up being back together right. like sometimes it'd be the next night or a week that or two weeks <laughs> that same night and so it was like situations like that like uh, if y'all don't work on it or get better to me it seems like it just gets worse yeah. like everybody want to get one up on each other and you know she was kicking his car he was driving off while she was on the car so basically you're telling me you're so mad that my safety isn't important to you right. and that's how much you want to get one up on me um and then she you know i guess they were fighting over keys so he did something took the keys back or did something took money whatever it was so she's uh kicking his car and putting some pretty big dents in it so it's like okay so once this dies off like what happens after that y'all gonna get back together so when y'all get in another argument is it just gonna be even worse what? and i feel like that's how like little that's how when you have you're in relationships where the communication is not great and 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 um people want to turn uh argue little disagreements turn into huge arguments huge arguments turn into like um cussing uh to me like we're big we don't cuss like right. that's just something we we don't do we don't cuss at each other because to me when you get mad the next time if it was a little bit of cussing then there's gonna be more cussing right. and so why not you you say it really well with right. the way that you should level your mind while you're having a disagreement with someone or if you may not be seeing eye to eye there's different ways of handling it versus just lashing out and cussing being mean and ugly trying to say something worse and worse where does it where does it end right. and sometimes it ends with death being beat you know with jail time right. so so you have to have boundaries in your relationship so everything right. essentially is like a business so you're in a partnership you're in a business partnership if you were in a company you couldn't just talk to your boss or ceo or or your partner if you guys have the equal position you can't just go cuss them out and expect to you know continue to work with them the next day or <laughs> have the you know continue to have your job so right. um with with relationships we get used to having like freeform relationships where the rules or the the ideas aren't discussed up front so you just kind of just go with it and like oh well she called me a b-word well that opens the door for me to call her you know or he to call you know whatever right so if you guys don't establish up front like hey we're not we're just not going to communicate like this this is not going to work for us because i foresee it not working if we are able to cuss at each other i'm going to get my feelings hurt then i'm going to have to try to hard try to hurt your feelings i'm going to try harder yeah i couldn't you know? be in toxic relationships like that right so yeah I, um you know i i've talked with people who are in those situations and you know just explaining to to them like you know you create a highway of communication uh, based on things you set in place and you can always take control of it you guys just both have to mutually agree it's just like setting um habits for yourself like your personal self you got a relationship so you got to set goals and boundaries and habits for your 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 relationship so that that way you can improve your communication right so right you do very well at just stopping and and oh, yeah. and right. just not saying much at that time until you gather your thoughts right. and and basically so you don't say anything right. that you basically regret or anything mean or anything like that right so the the thought behind that is um you know it's it's a lot of people we, we get used to seeing people say something bad and then ask for forgiveness but you'll never like you can if you say the the worst thing you right. you're thinking at that time you can't you, you, you said it already you can't go back on it it's like 
you know, I call it, man, you stupid, da da da, and she's like, man, that's really how you was feeling, cause you know, right. like, you 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 just had to let it out. So it's like, right, you know, even if you do feel that way, it'd be smart to just, you know, calm yourself down, cause if exactly you, if you're really gonna come back and say, oh, I didn't mean that, then you gotta sit there with those feelings while you're not meaning it and and not say it. So right, just acting right. on impulse or emotions. Don't yeah, don't yeah. allow yourself to act on impulse or emotions. Um, because then you'll regret, you'll regret it and it will consistently be brought up as well. So that's something, right. you know, if you let yourself in an intense moment, just say anything like, oh, you be, you, you know, whatever. And we're like, remember you was calling me all this and that. So it's always right. going to, like, it's Unless you have a good foundation where y'all, y'all, even though if the foundation was good, that shouldn't have, you know, horrible things shouldn't have been said to each other. But, you know, um, if you have a solid foundation or you want to rebuild that solid, uh, build a solid foundation, then, you know, then you would talk about, like, basically you, it won't be brought up again when you actually you know forgive each other right, you right, you right. set boundaries you set rules or whatever it may not be rules if people don't like rules but you got to have some sort of structure right. with communication that y'all both agree on that you won't you know you won't stoop at certain levels with each other right. you know you won't push certain buttons you won't go um go past those boundaries and then then it shouldn't be brought up again later you know it really should be something that y'all move forward and improve upon and keep going because it's toxic to keep bringing up the past too but when you already have about bad foundations it's a vicious cycle right. you did something wrong to me i'm gonna do something wrong to you then oh now i apologize but no you said that and this right. and this and that and right. remember last year you did this so now i'm doing this it's like right. you really holding on to that like i, I couldn't do that <laughs> i love how my king like he just in the beginning like in the other relationship he was just like all right, I don't want to talk about this right now. And it's not like he's not going to talk about it like the whole day or whatever. He's just gathering his thoughts. Um, and I, you know, being patient and already being ready to um, be able to coming into this relationship, allowing my man to, to lead and consciously already having that idea. Oh, I would be quiet. Like, and I, everybody know, like, I love to talk. I love to say what I want to say. I want to speak. I want to get the, you know, I guess people say I want to get the last word and stuff like that. And my dad used to make me be quiet all the time. And I used to hate that. So I'm like, but you know, I'm like, you know, this is my leader. I love and I trust him. He not going to lead me in no wrong direction. Um, and I'm coming into this relationship knowing that, you know, I do want to um, be able to be led by my king. And if he's saying, like, let's not talk about it right now, okay, I'm going to listen to it. You know, I'm, that's fine to listen, you know, and we're not going to talk right now. And I've actually learned from that, you know, um, because I don't, um, I try to pause and think before I say, you know, things when I'm frustrated about something and, and it really helps us to really pause and just collect our thoughts first and be able to articulate how we are feeling without just lashing out with emotion and saying, you know, things that are hurtful to each other. Let's mm -hmm. articulate. And what are we actually feeling? Like we're very um, vulnerable and transparent with each other. Yes, you know, yes. at like, actually, I didn't like that because it wasn't you. It was me. Maybe I was a little bit insecure about that. Right. So I'm going to be honest with you. I'm insecure about that. That's something that here's a little bit of background about me. And this is why I'm insecure about that. So that's why that was a trigger for me. So instead of me just sitting here and uh, that was a trigger and then just cussing you out and blah, blah, blah. No, actually, let me reflect. Let me really think about why I felt like this, why it frustrated me, and let me, you know, be honest with you and tell you, you know, you're really great at that, like whatever it may, you know, be. And I think we both do that very well, you know, right. whatever it may be that um, could be really our issue that we're basically um, re projecting, right. you know, on each other or something, you know. Yeah, in a relationship, you're you're still learning yourself while you're learning your partner. So right. you're able to communicate through each other. Like, you know what, I'm, I don't know why I'm frustrated right now, but like, let's take time and comb through this. It's like right. not really taking anything personal. There's a book I read called The Four Agreements, um, where it just it, essentially one of the... Um, lessons I got from it is like never take anything personal mm -hmm. um, usually people are talking to the reflection of themselves that they see in you so you know I've re I haven't read that book in a little while so I need to refresh on it but 
essentially that's what I got from it. Just never take anything personal. Um, so if, you know, if something is done to me and I'm, and I'm ready to give a negative energy back from it, I know it's right. usually nothing to do with her. So I'll just take my time and think about it. So essentially, um, you really got to just think before you speak, just like we are always taught, but right. you, know, you got to really take it literal. Just Right. You hear it so much and then it just brushes past you, but no, that's really true. <laughs> yeah, literally think before you speak. Um, yeah. Cause you know, words have a lasting impact. So you got to make sure you, you it's are true. Th like really calculated with your words. and Exactly. You know, so yeah, but that's pretty much the the gist of everything. You know, mm -hmm. smash that like button, subscribe. <laughs> gonna be more advice. Put down questions in the comments. Exactly. Y'all want us to go deeper into anything about how we do things, and um, or y'all want to share some insight on what y'all do. Exactly. You know, definitely looking forward to hearing new ideas, different techniques on how to communicate and how to be effective couples. So. You know, all right. Well, Queen I Sally and me. <laughs> Coach flows on for the time being. Man. Yeah, just everything. <laughs> Coach flows on everywhere. So. All right. Peace and blessings. Peace. Out.